crafty friends, this is the Paper Chef here, and today I'm going to show you how to cut out the inside and outside of stamped images using the Brother Scan and Cut. Now for this tutorial we are using the Beautiful Day Stamp Set by Stampin' Up. It's in the current catalog and I'm just going to show you all the beautiful parts to this stamp set. Now it looks kind of small on the front, but when you open up the package, look how big the stamp actually is. I like, I like that, it's kind of a bonus. So when you open up the stamp set and you get a bigger stamp than the picture. Yippee. Okay, so prior to this video, I have already stamped the images. I've stamped six, but I've already cut out this one here. S six images of the butterfly onto Whisper White cardstock using Memento Black Ink. I'm going to go ahead and load my mat. Okay, if you didn't see that, I'm just gonna move my camera a little bit. All I did to load the mat, I'm just putting this in view, is this button here. I loaded the mat. Okay, this part of the tutorial is very basic, so if you've seen my tutorials before, this part, the first part of the tutorial is gonna be very easy for you. And then we'll get into more advanced techniques. Okay, so let's let's start by saying that we, when we turn on the scan and cut and we go home to the home button, we have patterns, which we can cut out patterns, or we can scan. We're gonna go ahead and scan. We wanna just cut out this butterfly, okay? And here's our result, let me just show you. We wanna, we wanna use direct cut, because see, we're gonna cut out the butterfly directly, okay, for the first step. So we're using direct cut. And black and white recognition mode is fine because this is well-defined lines. I'm gonna go ahead and say start. Okay. It's recognizing now. And while it's doing that, I just want to tell you that this, this here is an outline distance. So that's what we're going to be doing to our butterfly. And then you can use these for all kinds of things, which I'll show you some of my projects. You stick around. The longer you stick around, the more projects you will see that I've created already with these just today. Okay, so let's say, okay, this is, these are the five butterflies that were recognized. We say, okay, it did a beautiful job recognizing them. But for us, we just need to save. We just need one butterfly. Okay, so I'm going to select that area. I'm going to say that I want an outline distance of 0 0.04, which is the, just the smallest outline distance I can get. I'm going to go ahead and say OK, and I'm just going to cut. Now, let's press start, and I'll tell you some things. It doesn't really even take a minute. This piece is just going to be quick. My blade depth is set to 5 because I'm using Whisper White cardstock, and that's usually what I set my blade depth to. Just get to know your machine to know which blade depth to set it at. Let me move the machine away. Um, I'm going to go ahead and unload the mat. Okay. Okay, there's my, there's my image. And let's put that onto a different color background so you can really see it. Okay, there you go. So that's what we just cut out. Okay, so that's direct cut with an outline distance of 0 0.04. Now, what do we have left? We have all these butterflies left. Let's do something with those butterflies. But we don't need to do something with all of them. I'm bringing the machine back. I'm gonna go ahead and load get this in view. Okay, load the mat. Okay, I'm gonna say okay, finish cutting. Now forget this butterfly, we don't need that ever again. So let's just go home. Do you wanna delete the pattern? Okay, I wanna delete the pattern. Now, we're going back to scan, but this time, I'm gonna show you what we're trying to accomplish and then I'll show you how we're gonna do that. This time we want to cut out the inside and the outside of our butterfly. And isn't that amazing? To do that, we need to, instead of direct cut, we need to scan to cut data. Okay, scan to cut data. We're gonna go ahead and say start, and it's recognizing. So the steps are gonna be that we, we scan the data in, we save the data, we retrieve, and we cut it out. And then we can do all kinds of things like you know, if you want, you can actually make this butterfly larger or smaller after you save it into the into the brother scan and cut. But in, in today's examples, I'm just cutting it out the same size as, as it is. So 
So it's recognizing. Now, here are butterflies. Looks like it did a nice job. I can see that it's, it's grabbed them. Now, if we choose the first option, it is just to save the outside of our butterfly. We don't need to save the outside of our butterfly. We already can do that with direct cut. We are in the scan to cut data mode right now. We want this option, the second option. The second option is cutting the inside and outside of the lines. Now, for this example, we just need one butterfly. We don't need to get them all for me to show you this example. So, it's okay, I'm just kidding. I'm just selecting the part I want. I'm gonna go ahead and say uh, preview and save. I just want that one butterfly. Uh, where do I wanna save it? I, I have three options. I can save it to the machine, to a USB, like the one I have here. The USB stick. This is just my little skateboard is dedicated just to my brother's scan and cut. Sorry for the poor lighting, my, my light went out, my video light. Um, I could save it to a USB, like I said, or to a computer using a USB cable. For now, I'm going to save it to the machine. So that's what I'm doing. And the file's called number 94. And that's it. Let's just go ahead and hit home. And it's okay to delete everything. Why is it okay to delete everything? Because I have it saved to the machine. Now, we're, our paper is still loaded. We go pattern and we say saved data. It's saved to the machine, so I'm gonna select machine. I could scroll through 10 pages one at a time, but instead I'm just gonna go backwards to page 10 of 10 and there's my file 94 and that's the file I want. All I need to do, I'm gonna say okay, I'm gonna go into this editing mode and all I really need to do is, I'm gonna zoom in and show you. There's a couple extra little bits I can get rid of if I want. I'm just gonna zoom in and show you though the amazing job it did. Look at this amazing, amazing job. It did with this butterfly, recognizing the inside and outside of it. Okay, so I'm gonna say okay. I liked, I liked the result. I'm gonna say okay, and if I want, I can select this little tiny bits like that and trash them. Not, Don't ever select the butterfly or any part of it, but you can select these extra little, see these tiny little bits, and that's it. Don't move your butterfly. It's very important because it's all, these are many pieces now. I mean, it's gonna cut out in one piece, but I'm saying the inside pieces, you don't want those to slip away. I'm gonna go ahead and say okay, and I'm also gonna save it because I wanna save over the top of what I just did. That means I have a pure butterfly. It doesn't have any extra little straight bits. I'm saving it over the top of its, of its uh, file. I've overwritten the file. Let's say okay, and let's cut. Okay, now I'm gonna press start and let it cut. Let me show you some of the things I've done. Okay. Let me get this out of the way. One thing about this machine is it's very loud. So here we have, I went to on stage in Atlanta a couple weekends ago, and I was able to pre-order, so I'm really lucky, I was able to get some of the new ink colors. Okay, so for, for example, this particular paper is called Blueberry Bushel, this new ink color. Okay, so that's what we just cut out. Let me show you what else I've done. So. One of the things I like to do is use the blend after I make my embellishments. So here's the result of using the blends. And here's, here's I took four blends, two sets of blends. And I'm, I'm just gonna call these my little stained glass, stained glass butterflies, okay? So that's what I did with that butterfly. I'm gonna show you a few more examples in just a bit, okay? But when it's done cutting, we need to we need to do it. We need to get to this part so I can show you the rest of the tutorial. But then while I'm doing the next step, I'm gonna show you some more of my examples. Okay, finished cutting, okay. Now, notice something before I unload this mat. I want you to notice something. 
because we don't want to have to move this butterfly. Just notice this. Where's my stylus? It doesn't, here it is, here's my stylus. I need to go two inches over and about one, two, three, less than four inches down. That's where my butterfly is sitting on the mat, okay? Just know that because when I, when I do the next step, I need to know kind of where to put my paper. I'm gonna go ahead and unload this particular mat. I'm gonna go ahead and peel, peel this butterfly off to show you how awesome this is, but it even gets more awesome than this. Okay, let's, I'm gonna put this butterfly I just cut out. Okay, um, over, can you see it? Over the top of, see, we just cut out this butterfly. I'm just putting that over the top of yellow paper. Okay, but that's not where this is really cool. We cut it out in black. That's not really cool. I mean, it's okay. But wouldn't it be better, you know, to cut these out of cardstock? Okay, so we have an image saved in there. So wouldn't it be better to cut it out of cardstock? So, for example, you know, I think I, sh I already showed you what we're doing here. So here is a, a butterfly with blueberry bushel. Cut out of the cardstock, the new in color cardstock. Okay, so what I've done is I've already, I just stuck the cardstock on the mat already using painter's tape. I'm gonna go ahead and load the mat. I know my butterfly is gonna fall in, into where I've placed this paper on the mat. I'm just gonna say load. And I'm gonna go ahead and say cut. But the difference is now that I'm, I'm not using Whisper White anymore. I'm using grapefruit something. Hold on, I have to learn the new colors. Okay, I'm using, haven't even opened this yet, Grapefruit Grove, okay? So, Grapefruit Grove is a nice thick cardstock by Stampin' Up! and I use a blade depth of six. That is the only thing I'm changing here, folks. That is it. I am, I have loaded Grapefruit Grove, and all I've done, I loaded the paper, I'm gonna say cut. That is it. I put a blade depth of six. I am gonna go ahead and cut Grapefruit Grove. I'm moving my brother's can and cut out of the way so I can show you some more examples. Then this paper. Okay, here we go. Here's some more examples. I told you I did use the blends to color some more, some of these butterflies, okay? So here's some more blends. I used a couple sets of blends. I'll have all these on my blog, thepaperchef.com. Here we go. There's another example, another stained glass butterfly. I just love how these turned out. Okay, move him over. I also tried to work with earthy colors. Okay. And I colored another butterfly using those four colors. So I have another stained glass butterfly. Good for Earth Day, yeah? And let's move that out of the way. Finally, I have. I'm in a paper crafting exchange group and we, we our job was to like decorate clipboards and, and I'm decorating my clipboard right now. This is one of the embellishments I'm putting on my clipboard. Started out plain. I added you know a paper to it. Not stamping up paper by the way, just a paper really cool that I had and then I thought that matched well with my blends and I colored this butterfly. And to color that butterfly, that stained glass butterfly I'm calling it, is I used these um, these sets of blends. All right, so there we go. Let's let's see what happened with the grapefruit grove. I'm pretty excited to show you show you like the possibility of what you can do with this brother scan and cut. So I'm I'm moving my machine back into view. All right. So let's just go right here. First of all, I'm just gonna say okay and unload the mat. Okay, that's all. Sorry that the camera moved a little bit. And there we have it. Okay, so I am going to peel. This grapefruit grove, right? Grapefruit grove butterfly from the mat. Okay, and I'm gonna do this to all my ink colors. I'm thinking I'm just gonna call it like, you know, ink color butterflies. It's kind of hard to get these out without ripping it. And if that is the case, if you have a couple stuck pieces, then don't try to force it. Just like snip it a little bit with this. There's a uh, paper snips by stamping up. They're really fine paper snips. Okay, because you don't want to rip your butterfly. But I'm just getting that extra little piece out by giving it a little twist. Okay, let me put this on the piece of blueberry bushel. 
okay? Blueberry bushel, because you can see, there we go. There's another little piece. You know I'm gonna try to force it. I just got done saying, don't force it, but there we go. And I'm gonna probably rip it, but nothing, a little bit of tacky glue won't fix. So there we go. So awesome, awesome, awesome. We have, we have an, another in color butterfly. Now, incidentally, I was at Stampin' Up! in Atlanta, and everybody at our table was like, oh, I love the centerpieces. And I'm like, I can make those, you know. I think they used the stamp set, and they, and the graphic artist made gigantic ones of these, and they, they had them on sticks. So I'm thinking, why not make centerpieces out of these? If you have a, like, a launch party, if you're a demonstrator, or you're hosting a party at your house, make some of these, put them on sticks. Okay, but there's more. Of course, there's more. I'm going to need to move my machine out of the way to show you this cool project. So, my friend has a honey, a beehive, and I often give, he often gives me like giant jars of honey, and then what I do is I go to, I go to stores and I, I go to like the, maybe, you know, Michael's or and AC Moore, and I get little mini mason jars, and I fill them with his natural honey, because locally it helps with allergies, which is really bad allergy season. So, and sometimes that's the only thing that helps is natural honey from local local bees. So they asked me for some more honey, and so I'm, I've decorated the bottle. Last time I put, I used my Cricut, I made bees, um, I did all kinds of stuff to it, you know. So I didn't want to use the bee theme again, so this time I'm using one of my stained glass butterflies, and I used, and put a sentiment on it from, uh, is it called happy hour or something? Something, mixed drinks, it's called mixed drinks. That's where I got this sentiment from mixed drinks. This is that blueberry bushel. This is, like, all the things I did for this, let me go. Okay, started out with Whisper White cardstock, colored it with the four blends that I told you about, okay. So, pumpkin pie, daffodil, daffodil delight, let's put those there. Okay, so that's Whisper White cardstock. Then, I did everything we just did in our tutorial. Okay, I did, I cut out the inside of the stamped image using the Brother Scan and Cut. I came up with one of these blueberry bushel butterflies, okay. I then ran this through my sticker machine. You can use like any kind of adhesive. And I put this butterfly onto this one. And that's where the magic happens. I mean, now you have all kinds of like dimension going on. Look at that. Okay, so now you have dimension. I have the blue, the blueberry bushel, see it's gonna be hard for me to remember these names, over the top of the Whisper White, so we got a layer going on. And then, when I color with the blends, you see how the blends bleed through the Whisper White? So I cut out another one of these with my brother's scan and cut and didn't color it, and I used it for the back, so that you couldn't see the back of the butterfly, you can't see, you can't see this. See, I have, I have a double lined butterfly. Okay, finally, and I love this part of this, I used Wink of Stella. There's my Wink of Stella, okay? So I'm gonna just, I wish my light worked, my video light went out, but I mean, I'm hoping you can see the glimmer to that beautiful butterfly. And I'm giving this to a friend tomorrow. Okay, and I did some extra things, like these little, sorry, my, Oh, here we go. I had some more things to show you. Okay, because I, you know, I like to get the names of the stamp sets right. So it was called Mixed Drinks, and there's I, that's where I got the sweet from. Like out of the You're So Sweet, I just got the So Sweet. And I used the classic label punch of faceted gemstones. I actually colored, the, I used Whisper White, but I actually colored, before I stamped it, I colored it with Daffodil Delight, this one, the blends. Okay, I'm just trying to show you my whole project. Furthermore, I got wooden spoons from Tuesday morning. Okay, wooden spoons from Tuesday morning. That's what I did here. And then I embellished this with silver. It's just called silver, what is it called? I have to really get to know my products a little better. Mini sequin trim, okay? So I used mini sequin trim. 
right there. And the ribbon, it's just awesome, awesome. And the reason I use silver for both of these is because it matched the sort of Wink Estella and it also matched the silver in the mini mason jar. Okay, so that's this trim here. Um, metallic edge trim. I hope that's in the camera view. Okay, that's another product by Stampin' Up. Okay, so that's what I did there. And then I touched, so I touched those, Wink Estella, and I used a glue dot. A, a glue dot to hold it onto the honey. So those are my projects. I hope you enjoyed all of what I showed you. And uh, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll uh, see you in the next video. Thank you.